This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, June the 27th. Wow, we're winding June down. The days are beginning to get a little bit shorter. Not much, but just a little bit. Skycam from Birmingham this morning showing that we do have mostly cloudy skies across central Alabama. We have a very active weather pattern going on with a pattern change that we've been talking about for several days. As a surface low is moving through the Ohio River Valley with a front draped across the Mid-South, that front, we usually don't see fronts this time of year, typically, uh, but it's not, you know, something that doesn't happen. It does happen from time to time, and it's happening this weekend, and that's going to usher in some cooler, drier continental air across the area. In the upper atmosphere, that uh, uh, pattern change is... Uh, coming from this trough that's developing over the eastern half of the country, and it's going to be with us for at least a couple of days, giving us a very nice break in the heat. Temperatures across central Alabama, not much change right now, but we should see a nice change tomorrow with temperatures a good 10 to 12 degrees cooler than we see this morning. Uh, most readings in the lower and mid-70s. And radar active, uh, as we expect to see scattered and numerous showers along the front and just ahead of the front with both a free prefrontal trough as well as the front itself. And uh, because of the low moving through the uh, eastern part of the Ohio River Valley, we have some flash flood watches. Those are those green areas for parts of New England and the mid-Atlantic states. And then we also have some heat out in the western U.S. and the northwestern U.S. The quantitative precipitation forecast or QPF forecast is for on the order of one to one and a half inches of rain across the southeast U.S. over the next uh, five days. Most of that coming today and uh, early uh, Sunday for uh, people to the south. And the Storm Prediction Center is out looking at enhanced risk along the mid-Atlantic states where the main dynamics are. Also note we have a slight risk back uh, up in parts of the Dakotas and um, uh, Minnesota where uh, we're going to be watching a little short wave that moves in that area. And that uh, will continue with a marginal risk down into parts of Illinois, Iowa, and Missouri on day two or Sunday. And the good news for anybody interested in the tropics, the tropics remain quiet. All right, the 06 EGFS model run this morning, and uh, there's a look at our surface pattern. We have widespread, numerous uh, showers. Doesn't mean everybody will get rain, unfortunately, as I've been an example of this week since I've missed showers, but have felt the effects of the cooling uh, showers being nearby. In the upper atmosphere, our trough is moving by today, and that trough should move by us tomorrow, and then you see a little another short wave that responsible for that marginal risk of uh, severe weather back uh, over uh, the Western Great Lakes area, and uh, that bringing a little bit of a um, complex of thunderstorms down into the area. But as you can see across the southeast, the front moves on by and gets down to the Gulf Coast, so it looks like we should be drying out nicely. And uh, speaking of drying out, uh, let's take a look at precipitable water values. These are the precipitable water values for today at midday, around uh, 1 p.m., and you can see they're very high. And uh, by tomorrow at 1 p.m., you can see that we get this nice air mass change with lowered humidities. All right, getting back to the maps and uh, the uh, trough uh, is uh, continues to stay with us on Monday. So that is helping to keep temperatures down. So it looks like upper 80s will be the rule, which is about typical for this time of year. We, uh, we see that we stay pretty dry on Monday, but moisture levels begin to start coming back up. By the time we get out to Tuesday, the, the trough, uh, troughiness is still with us, but moisture levels are beginning to come back up, and so we will be introducing another chance for showers uh, as we head into Tuesday and again into Wednesday as the trough begins to diminish a little bit, uh, Wednesday being July 1st. By July 2nd, we see that the, uh, the trough has uh, dampened out considerably, continues to dampen out as we head out to the 3rd, Friday the 3rd, and that just keeps us in the possibility of showers. And even though we have another front approaching, it doesn't look like this one will be as successful since the upper trough is not nearly as strong as the current um, trough is. The troughiness uh, does stay with us at least through the 4th of July, so that's keeping things from being too warm across the area. So July 4th, Saturday, and once again, uh, you know, the frontal zone just to our north, so uh, that will keep things somewhat unsettled. When you go out into voodoo country, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Isn't that the way it always is? But uh, this nice break in the heat will come to an end as we see around uh, the 8th 
We see the ridge coming back across the southwestern United States, and that ridge moves across uh, much of the, the uh, eastern uh, half of the country by uh, Sunday the 12th of July. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog and check back often for notes on our ever-changing Alabama weather. Have a good day and Godspeed.